Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is the never-ending lesson 32. This is 32F, an app for mom. And we started long ago with 32A, creating a very basic, simple scene and a trigger and turning it into uh, exporting it as an app to now having a full-fledged app. Uh, we're now going to export that. So remember, you have to have an icon. If you long press, you could set the icon. You have to have a name. Or you want to name it probably you want to name it whatever you want the name of your app to be uh, so you can rename there and uh, when you're ready you click export and then as app you have to have tasker app factory installed you give it a package name a version name it's going to be 1.3 um, the launch task so what task you want to uh, uh, open or trigger when they press the app button to open the app and then uh, minimum Android version it has to be 16 in order for this particular thing to work because it has to have accessibility uh, uh, enabled and accessibility enabling is only going to be an option uh, with the Tasker App Factory app with the minimum Android version of 16 so once you've done that you hit that little back button and it ex exports our our new fancy app and once that's done I'm gonna hit the Android button and go ahead and install it it says it's gonna replace an app that's already on there and that's exactly what we want to happen now it's done it's installed um, if you wanted to send it to someone else, you're wondering where it would be on your machine. It's in, in the Tasker uh, folder under uh, Factory, I believe, and then under Kids. Um, so real quick, I do want to make sure that everything is disabled in Tasker as far as these things we've been working on. Off and off, so that's good. So now let's go to my apps here's the class app that we just created so when I tap that you'll see now we get this beautiful uh, uh, box shows the current status disabled or enabled and then you have these nice little buttons to turn things off and on let's turn everything on and then you can get out of here by clicking the X button or you can just hit return and that's because we displayed it as an activity. Important to know. Uh, you want to display, if it's a settings thing, you usually want to display it as an activity, which does allow you to escape it by hitting the back button. Uh, now let's see what happens uh, if and when uh, I send myself a uh, Google Voice uh, message or a Facebook message. So we'll send that off and see what happens. Eric has sent you a text message. So we got a notification. We also have the picture and we have the dismiss or the reply buttons. Uh, we'll test the same thing with Facebook and see how it works with that. New good Facebook Messenger message from Iraq. And there we go, it announced it and it showed uh, the box as well. Now let's dismiss those and let's go back into our app and let's have Google Voice do a pop-up, but we'll have Facebook Messenger announce only. So we've changed the settings. Let's see uh, how our settings uh, worked. So we got the voice message pop-up, but no announce because we had turned that off in settings. When we get a Facebook Messenger message, we should hear it announced. New good Facebook Messenger message from Iraq. So it said that we got a Facebook message, it announced it, but no pop up because we turned that off. Now, if we go into class, uh, we can. Now, we do, I do see a little error already because announce is showing off when it should be showing on. So that's something I would troubleshoot uh, uh, in the final version. And that's part of, if you're creating an app especially, a lot of it, anything with Tasker, even if you're just doing it for your own, own uh, in your own Tasker profiles, a lot of troubleshooting. Um, but let's see what happens if all these things are turned on, but we disable the entire app. So everything's on, but we've disabled the app. Now I'm going to send myself a, uh, 
uh, Google Voice message. And is it coming through? Oh, it did come through, but it just didn't announce a pop-up, obviously, because we have it turned off. Um, let's try real quick with Facebook. Same thing. Since, uh, you see, popped up right there. Notifications, but nothing's happening. Because we have it disabled. So it doesn't matter that we have all of these enabled. And they are showing, reflecting correctly now. Uh, even though all these are on, the whole app is disabled, so nothing's happening. So we basically created an app that someone can install on their tablet and uh, get the same result. I created this app uh, originally for my mom for her tablet. Um, I just recreated it for you guys. Um, but I spent a lot, of t a lot more time because I was, you know, I had to figure things out that I didn't necessarily know to begin with. Um, a couple of other things I just want to show you, just in the way of wrapping up here, because you may say, "Okay, well that's all well and good, but what if uh, the tablet is in?" portrait um, what is going to happen. Um, anytime you're working on a scene, if you want to uh, uh, work on it in portrait mode, if you put your tablet in portrait mode, so I'm going to put my tablet, oh, I think I turned rotation off, I did, turn it back on, now put my tablet in portrait mode, you'll see what it looks like in portrait mode. And that's not what you want it to look like. So what you have to do is uh, go into portrait mode and then uh, uh, set it up. And when you do that, uh, like all the changes I'm making right now are only being applied to when it's in portrait mode. So uh, when you set something up, uh, in portrait mode, you're only affecting what it's going to look like uh, when it is in portrait mode. So you can have basically two separate, uh, I mean it's, it's one scene, but it has two completely different looks uh, based on uh, whether your phone is in portrait or landscape at the time the scene is triggered. So, uh, I am redoing this. So that it looks uh, good for portrait uh, mode. So now I've just redone it. So this is what it would look like uh, in portrait mode. Now obviously, um, when you look at this in portrait mode, uh, it's if you have two, a notification here and here, they're gonna overlap. So uh, what you might would wanna do is make this actually more like this in portrait mode. And then stack the buttons on top of each other so that you can still have Google Voice and Facebook at the same time without them overlapping. And you'll see when I turn my phone back to uh, landscape mode, it, it's back. This is the landscape configuration. So that's how you can have two different configurations. Um, it's one thing that's really brilliant about Tasker. You're not limited to just one uh, configuration, landscape, or portrait. You can actually have two. And then depending on the orientation of your device at the time, it'll use the one that's appropriate. Uh, uh, so, you know, if you were going to do this uh, for uh, landscape, I mean for uh, portrait mode, then obviously you would do this button here and this button on top and then, you know, make the text area uh, narrower but bigger this way and that way you would have that version for portrait and you'd still have this version for landscape. So I did want to show you that just because that's important to know. Um, anyway, I think that is about it. 
Um, I know this has been a really long lesson, lesson 32. It does not compare at all to how much time I spent figuring all this stuff out on my own when I was building this app for my mom for her tablet. So uh, hopefully you've learned a lot of things though, even if you're never gonna use this, uh, there's just a lot of little things uh, in there that you learn that you'll be able to apply to things that you want to do or ideas that you come up with. Um, of course, if you have questions, you can throw them down in the comments section. Uh, as much as I have time, I do do my best to try to uh, answer those questions uh, if I can. Um, I don't know everything about Tasker, so sometimes there are things I can't answer. But if I can, I certainly do my best to try to do that for you. Um, and that's about it. Check out my channel. Check out my Android app reviews. Um, a lot of times you could spend, you know, a hundred hours trying to figure out how to do something on Tasker and not figure it out. And there's an app in the App Store that does it brilliantly. So I always say if you can get an app for a buck or two that does something and saves you hours and hours of time that you may not even be able to do anyway, then get the app, you know. Um, but uh, obviously there are some things you just enjoy trying in Tasker or some things you can get Tasker to do you don't need to get the app. Uh, but check out my Android app reviews. You might find some of those over there because I try to find the coolest really productivity apps. And uh, subscribe to my channel, click the like button, share the video, you know, all that fun stuff. And that is it. Until next time, have fun with Tasker.